What is up there guys? My name is Savras and today I am back playing some more Conan Exiles and I'm gonna be bringing you something a little bit different this time instead of doing any kind of gameplay or anything like that We're gonna be talking about server settings and the admin panel. So let's go ahead and bring back up our GUI Go ahead and hit escape go down to settings and right across top audio video gameplay controls key bindings server settings let's go ahead and go through this so we can look and see what we have you have your server password if you password protect your server to make sure that nobody gets on that you don't want them to put that in there admin password if you want people to be able to utilize things like the admin control panel put in the password so that they do that there this is battle eye enabled meaning that you're going to have the anti-cheat system pvp enabled check mark that there if you want people to be able to attack each other Community, you can put that in. Server region, America, I believe it's EU, Asia, stuff like that. Uh, you can see the community is purist, relaxed, hardcore, role playing, experimental, things of that nature. Ownership can damage player owned structures, meaning that you can actually blow up or damage them with weapons. Enable Sandstorm, you know what that is. That's the big uh, kind of metagame uh, storm that comes through rolling around. Max clan size, you can have a slider right there to tell you how big you want your clan size to be. Up to 60, down to 1. Max nudity, you can have no nudity, partial or full. Then going down a little bit more, we have, what do we have here? Let's go ahead and progression. You have your player XP rate multiplier, player XP time multiplier, the kill multiplier, harvest multiplier, and craft multiplier. So the rate at which the player receives experience can all be adjusted from its standard base setting. What does it go up to? Like 10? So from 0.1 to 10 for any of that stuff there. Day night cycle. This is going to be pretty important to a lot of people out there. So the day cycle speed is how long the day will last. This is an extremely long day. This is almost no kind of day. All right. Same thing with. Um, actually, I'm, I'm sorry. Let me rephrase that. Daytime. Long day, no day, long night, no night, things like that. The, the cycle is how fast it goes from day to night. Let's say it's 60 minutes for an entire cycle, 30 minutes day, 30 minutes night. You put that down at 2.0. Now the day night goes to, instead of 60 minutes for a day night, it's 30 minutes for a day night cycle. Uh, dawn and dust time speed, you can adjust that. Catch up time ketchup <laughs> all right then you have survival player health multiplier as they put in health you can actually increase the amount of health they get player health regen speed player stamina multiplier the stamina cost multiplier the player stamina regen speed player active thirst multiplier active hunger multiplier so what this is is basically you are adjusting the rate at which you can um get more health, regenerate your health after battle or whatever may have hurt your health, the amount of stamina you get, how much actions, you know, swinging your pickaxe, swinging your sword, running around, how much those actions cost of stamina, then your regen is how quickly you can get your stamina back. Thirst multiplier and hunger multiplier, of course, is how often you will go hungry or thirsty. Logged out characters remain in world? Sure. Go ahead and grab that body and drag it around. Drop equipment on death? Of course, because you shouldn't be able to respawn with all your stuff again, right? But if you want to adjust those, by all means, just uncheck these boxes. Everybody can loot corpse. You know, if you want to be friendly, you know, uncheck that. If not PvP rules, go ahead and let them loot your corpse. Combat. So the player damage multiplier, player damage taken, minion damage, you know, you got all the information right here that'll talk about how much damage, how much durability, how fast things respawn, the average thrall wake up time, avatar lifetime, disable avatars. If you don't want avatars in your game, by all means, go ahead and disable them. The item spoil rate scale, that actually might be something you want to do. If you drop something on the ground, you might want it to last longer. Or if you have some equipment, your body, you can't find it. You might want it to last longer than normal. Harvest amount multiplier. This shows you whenever you break stone, how much stone you'll actually get back. 
resource respawn how fast will that stone should you break it all the way down uh take to respawn Oop. land claim radius multiplier shows from where you put a foundation or wall how far out from that uh will someone else have to go before they can begin building then you have crafting for your cost your speed uh structure damage structure damage taken structure health player encumbrance encumbrance penalty uh, all of that can be adjusted. Chat, your local radius is 5,000. I'm guessing it's in your, probably meters uh, for chat local radius. Max message link, 512. You should pop that down to what is 140 for Twitter. Uh, please tweet me. Uh, in game, has uh, chat has global? Sure. And then you can have region access control. I'm guessing this is allow you to not have people join your server from various parts of the world. So those are the server settings right there. Let's go ahead and go to the admin panel. This is where the magic happens. So right here, these are things that you can do for yourself. Add 100 experience, 1,000, add a feet, add 10 feet, uh, up one level, jump to level 10, jump to level 30, jump to level 50. Uh, cloak yourself, you're undetectable, invisible, you're, well, you're invisible. Uh, no sprint, so you can sprint without running out of stamina. Ghost, you no longer collide with the world and you can fly. Walk is basically just disabling ghost. Teleport brings you somewhere else. Um, show states, this is uh, debugging. You can just see various things. Demigod allows you to not be really damaged by must stuff. Uh, print XP shows you your XP games. Um, movement speed multiplier, this will make you run faster. You can turn your eating on or off. You can make yourself hungry, thirsty, more food, less food, more water, less water. Teleport to different areas of the map. Uh, you can change the length of your um, day-night cycle. You can change the time. It's got pre-settings for dawn, noon, dusk. Freeze the sky. Don't let it move anymore. Uh, freeze time. Stop time from passing. You know, unfreeze, unfreeze. Uh, here's some more stuff right here. Spawn in items. This is actually pretty cool right here. So here are all your resources right there. You can just scroll down. And you want to spawn some stuff in? Go ahead and click silk. I need silk, but I need 100 of it. There is 100 silk right there. Pretty easy to do. The next stuff you can look at uh, would be gear. And you see right here all the different type of gear. Weapons, armor. Anything you want to spawn in, there it is. Click what you want to spawn in. All this good stuff right there. Click how many you want to spawn in. Ten of each. Hit spawn. Boom. Done. Building. You want to build some stuff? Here's all the building stuff you can do right there. And, of course, let's say you just want to do some reinforced work. So you want some reinforced. Just type in the beginning letters and it'll narrow it down for you. Then you have other. Let's go ahead and get rid of <laughs> All that, and you can see all the others that don't really fit into resource, gear, or building. And you can see all these right here. That you can just spawn these in. And there you go. That's pretty much it. So, you can also spawn in humanoids. You want to spawn some people in. Someone you want to attack, kill something. You can spawn that in. You want to spawn in some creatures. Go over to the creatures. Go ahead and spawn in some creatures right there. You know, all this stuff right there will show you what you can spawn in. And uh, so here, I'll show you something. It's nighttime right now, but I don't like nighttime. Let's make it noon. Boom. Quick and easy, just like that. So that's pretty much it. Server settings, admin panel. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video or you found it helpful, please go ahead and find the thumbs up button and click, flick, or hit it for me. Let me know that you like this video. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe for more awesome videos just like this one and all the other Conan Exile videos on my channel. And as always, my friend, I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Oh.